Jesus is right behind me on the platform. <laughs> this was a vision that I saw on that 10th of August. Read the prophetic word from Mark Taylor. I want you to hear what he said in 2011. Let's talk for a minute about the prophetic destiny of the United States. And he walked up to me and said, I'm going to speak today. See how God sees things ahead and can speak to people. He has an agenda. <laughs> it's called America. <laughs> this day, I vote. I vote. They say Trump will become president. I will put a trumpet in the White House. For I have chosen someone to sit in the White House. Well, he's been chosen. And he will sit in the White House as president. As I have chosen this man, Donald Trump, for such a time as this. And I am voting for Donald Trump. If Trump will become president. He is anointed by God for this. I have anointed you. Though you have not known me. And he will know me. And he will hear me. You don't need a preacher in the White House. You need a businessman in the White House. Wow. They will say things about this man, the enemy, but it will not affect him. And they shall say, it rolls off him like the duck. <laughs> All the garbage you've heard that has been coming out at him has been canned, paid off media assaults from a very sophisticated, corrupt political machine. He is anointed by God for this. Now, never in the history of politics have you ever seen someone get attacked the way this man has. But every time he's attacked, his numbers go up, the others go down, even to the point where they get kicked out of the race. As the feathers of a duck protect it, so shall my feathers protect this next president. He was born here. He grew here. He worked here. He helped here. He will be used to clean and purify the nation. He will hear my voice. I will put those around him that hear my voice. He's already selected some that hear my voice. I've always chosen many and leaders that people would not choose. That's because you're not me. He is the chaos candidate because he's the only guy with the prophetic acumen, perfectly suitable for the chaos of where America's going. What's amazing about Trump is he has a prophetic intuition. Similar to Churchill, Churchill was pushed out of politics. People forget this because his narrative for the future was what they called too dark, too gloomy, too dystopian. It's the same words they used to describe Donald Trump's speech at the Republican National Convention. Too dark, too gloomy. The fact is, if you are prophetic and can see what's coming in the future, you're not being dark and gloomy, you're actually being enlightened because the person who knows what's coming knows what to do when it shows up. As hard as he is, he has been prepared for this. Donald Trump has been chosen. His whole life building this empire has been to prepare him for the season that's coming up right now, that we're in right now, in order to help turn America around. Where Trump comes in, you have the wrecking ball to the whole agenda that has been going on for the last uh, 10, 15, 20 years. You have somebody that actually is capable of prophetically navigating in the chaos because he's actually built for chaos as cyrus was used to discipline israel and then to restore israel likewise trump will be used in the u.s thus saith the lord to cyrus whom i have taken by the right hand thus says the lord to cyrus his anointed who I've taken by the right hand to subdue nations before him, to loose the loins of king, to open doors before him. He'll be used to cup violence. And the Lord said, Donald Trump is a wrecking ball to the spirit of political correctness. He will be God's mouth and hand for this nation. Because no matter what you think about him, he at least loves this country.
He is anointed. God is very serious right now when he says, do not touch my anointed. For the generations before him in his line paid a price with their life for the kingdom. He could not escape being great. He's been thrown into this because I called him into this. Whether you agree with him or you don't agree with him, he's still anointed by God. If you do not like him, then you say nothing. Do not touch my anointed. Because you're speaking against my plan. You don't know my ways and my thoughts. Do not touch my anointed. Don't touch him. You must trust me. Lay down your plans and find out my plans. For I am going to rebirth America. It will be greater than it ever was before. It has not even seen the peak of its greatness. My agenda, freedom and liberty for all. Justice for those who cry out for justice. America is great because I created it to be great. It is my gift to the nations. I created it to stand with my people in Israel. For I will use this man to bring honor, respect, and restoration to America. America will be respected once again as the most powerful and prosperous nation on earth other than Israel. For America is a friend of Israel. I hid America in their name. J-E-R-U-S-S. A-L-E-M If you want to know where America is in the Bible, it's in the name of Jerusalem. You have to discern, and that's what the church is lacking is discernment. The Spirit says the enemy will quake and shake and fear this man I have anointed. They will even quake and shake when he announces he is running for president. It will be like the shot heard across the world. The enemy will say, what shall we do now? <laughs> this man knows of our tricks and schemes. Been robbing America for decades, and what shall we do to stop this? Amazing. The Spirit says, ha, no one shall stop this that I have started. The enemy has stolen from America for decades, and it stops now. Up for those who are corrupt. And the one thing that God is doing right now that he's very serious about, it doesn't matter if you're in the political arena, it doesn't matter if you're part of God's leadership in the church. If you are corrupt, God is going to expose you himself, and he is going to remove you. Exposed right now. And to reap the harvest that the United wow. States has sown for and plunder from the enemy what he has stolen and return it fold sevenfold back to the United States. The dollar will be the strongest it has ever been in the history of the U.S. and will once again be the currency by which other... The enemy will say, Israel, Israel, what about Israel? For Israel will be, will be protected by America once again. The Spirit says, yes, America will once again stand hand in hand with Israel and the two shall be one. Between Israel and America will be stronger than ever and Israel will flourish. God says, I will America and Israel for this next president will be a man of his word when he speaks, the world will listen and know that there is something greater in him than all the others before him. So you, my people, in the other countries, bless America, pray for America. You will be seeding for the change in your own country. It is his bond, and the world and America will know this, and the enemy will fear this, for this man will be fearless. Trump is built intuitively for the battle that's about to unfold. The news media will be captivated by this man, and the abilities that I have gifted him with. And they will even begin to agree with him, says the Spirit of God. 
This is a kingdom age and a miracle will flourish and prosper and the light will grow and grow and go to the world. It'll be a pattern to what I'm going to do to all those other countries. So Financial harvest begins, so shall it paralyze in the spiritual for America. To love, to share the truth, I died to set men free, not put them in captivity. Word this day to go around this world. This is my earth and the fullness thereof. He is releasing prophetic voices all over the earth. Probably tens of thousands are hitting the earth and all of heaven's coming with us in this end time. My people that have sought my face and I will heal their nation. And I am changing things because my people have prayed and they have repented. I am coming for a habitation, not a visitation. So begin to celebrate. Live a celebrated life. Don't forget to have fun. Because fun is a weapon too. Says you're good. Amen. Woohoo! Use discernment and wisdom. Read the signs. God is giving signs all the time in this process.